I truly crit the bed on that one. B. Uh, so we'll do a quick fire. <laughs> right. Uh, Khalil, who are you? What do you do? I'm Chad, the lizard wizard with the axe that smacks. Nice. Alice, who are you? What do you do? <laughs> okay. Well, an the angel, dead pets. No memories. There we go. No regrets. Ellie, what do you do? Who are you? Um, I play Pip. She is a grung ranger um, with poisonous skin and one very alive pet. Nice. Josh, the crisp man himself, what do you do? Uh, Potter Tere, the uh, furball druid, harmless but armless, um, and I'm a, a pacifist con murderer. Lovely. And finally, Annie, who are you? What do you do? I'm Annie. I play Mike, changeling sorcerer, uh, newborn vampire, and I am still on a work break. Nice. <laughs> Look at that. Who are you, Tim? Who are you, Tim? I'm Tim. Uh, I do Tim things on the on the stream of Crit the Bed. I'm everybody else. Um, this is a homebrew campaign uh, of D and D Fifth Edition, and uh, all of the players here are currently level ten. You so know. we'll do um, a little recap of what happened last time. Uh, all of the characters were escorted by two hobgoblin guards uh, into uh, the Black Ice Caverns, where they were sent by Countess Catessa, no Commander Catessa, sister to Countess Kakalif. Um, that, uh, for a peace offering that she wanted to get the hobgoblins at least uh, from attacking her whilst her forces went off to uh, meet the undead horde that is progressing towards the rest of the Mistfield. Uh, they sent with you um, Partisan and Roger, two knights of her own that was carrying a chest uh, with the former hobgoblin warlord's armour in there as a peace offering. Uh, you also managed to liberate uh, a young man by the name of Sebastian Sandals that you've now made a squire slash servant slash butler slash uh, someone to put in harm's way. Um, when you got into the cave, Pip nominated herself as an envoy, went off ahead with Sebastian as a translator uh, to talk to the warlord uh, to smooth things over whilst the rest of you accompanied uh, the two guardsmen and the uh, package that you were to deliver. Uh, things went okay. Um, turns out that the uh, the warlord himself can speak common, so negotiations were pretty easy. Uh, they did kind of break down after a while, uh, whilst um, Parter, I think, sort of came on to the warlord a little bit. Uh, Mike started pouring vodka for everybody, um, and uh, I think Aya might have put people off with the smash burger sort of skulking in the background. Um, so things were on thin ice, no pun intended. Uh, until the point where uh, he was still a little bit suspicious of you all, asked you to open up the casket to make sure there's no traps inside, which uh, set off a trap inside. Um, this big negative sphere, like a three-dimensional black hole, even though all black holes are three-dimensional. Um, name it 2020. Went off, yes. This big ball of 2020 emerged from the, from the um, chest that you were carrying, kind of enveloped most of it. Uh, anything that was near it got sucked in. Um, warlord... <laughs> Um, I think reasonably assumed that you were uh, all part of this uh, and everything kicked off really uh, fights happened arms were lost pads were created you're so casual about this <laughs> yeah well sure arms. and uh, that's where we are so uh, I think we're ready to all get in this big bed of crit together <laughs> I don't like that yeah well. <laughs> let's tuck in <laughs> tuck into the mm, I don't mm. <laughs> uh oh. So I'm gonna smoothly transition over to the map. Probably um, mute everybody. I, Sorry. I was just gonna say I wish that I had three dogs on me. Mm -hmm. And also hi CJ. Hi CJ. Hello. Hey CJ. Hey. Um, hey, CJ. Say, can we oh. give some appreciation buddy on Cleo's jumper? Yeah, Cleo, show us the jumper. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us were calling for that to be our first line of merch as well, which I'm all yeah. for. <laughs> It'll just say, crit the bed up here. Yes, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Done. So I'm just going to line up the map on the, the old map screen. Um, I don't think we fully appreciated enough last episode when um, someone didn't trust us, but we fully trusted ourselves that we inadvertently, again, were the bad guys and they were just proven right. Like, I feel like that's the perfect sense of irony that we I, need to start questioning what we do i don't agree really i don't agree we yeah we were just trying to be good 
and we took a black hole to someone. That's not no. good. <laughs> we, we didn't, didn't know we were doing that. We thought yeah, we'd be there. I'm also, more offended. When, do you not think it went too smoothly and easy when Contessa said, "Can you go do this?" And we were like, "Yeah, sure, let's go do this." Um, you should have killed it. Mm. That's why Still we can. need to trust less and question mm -hmm. more. <laughs> At least we can. We can only hope that she died anyway because of the giant zombie army. So it can well, she's, if she, she isn't died. dead now, she will be soon. Mm -hmm. I can collect some extra bits to be able to reincarnate her and then we'll kill her again. <laughs> <laughs> can we keep that on a loop? We'll take her in a brief briefcase with us. Yeah, yeah set her on fire for when people saw that. Yeah. <laughs> Jack Taylor says, Buddy has quit the bed of our hearts. Oh, oh. oh. that's nice. That's He's fast nice. asleep over there at the moment. Uh, He's right. our true so, pooch pal. Uh, let's <laughs> get into the game, shall we? Uh, we left our intrepid adventurers off mid-battle and I believe uh, it's Pip's go so you're oh. currently within the confines of a Chad's pad um, next to you is your faithful companion Bando and off just over the right shoulder is the hyperventilating Sebastian Sandals <laughs> uh, both Roger and Partisan are part of this Chad's pad um, party uh, and off to your sort of right uh, is uh, a three hobgoblin guardsmen uh, all looking both confused, angry, and just over overshadow everything else. There's this ever-growing uh, sphere of annihilation at the centre. Um, I don't particularly care about Parmesan and Partisan, so they can stay in here for all I care. Um, I'm going to grab Sebastian Sandals, mm -hmm. and can I grab and jump at the same time? Is that Can that count? Yeah. yeah. So... We're getting out of there. I trust Bando to follow me because he just knows what I want him to do. Groovy, yeah. Uh, you can absolutely, yeah, you can just tell him like to follow you as you grab Sebastian. Um, I would like you to do, because you're kind of, you can see out of Chad's pad, so like you can see where you're jumping to. Um, and you, I believe you can jump about 25 feet. Uh, so I would think... you like to put Pip where you want her to land? Um, Every square is five feet, again, two, so you can go up to five squares away from where oh, you are, including I diagonals. Um, I couldn't do that mass myself, and that's that was a genuine thing. No <laughs> worries. So thank you. Um, though, oh, okay, I can see squares. Where do I want to go? Okay, one. <laughs> I'm also going to do a uh, little dex check for old Sebastian to see if he can hold on as you jump. Which one is Sebastian? Uh, you probably can't uh, manipulate Sebastian. No. I also can't move yeah, Ban. He, uh... Oh wait, no, I can. Uh, he uh, he kind of slips off halfway through and stumble and rolls down the stairs and ends up at Parter's feet. Uh, he so made you kind of up. like half pushed him, launched him out of Chad's pad. Um, oh! <laughs> as he thumps to the floor. Um, would you like to do anything else, Pip? Um. I would. The viewers at home, that's where Pip's gone. Kind of in a sort of a circle of uh, hobgoblin guards at the moment. <laughs> Which doesn't seem safe either. Um, I am going to coat my arrows in poison mm -hmm. and get get it ready for if any of these three. I don't. You can't see where I'm clicking. I know you can. You can yeah. If you hold it down, it will, it will ping. These three, mm -hmm. if they move towards me, okay, I'll shoot them. So you read an action, take a bonus action to dip one of your arrows in uh, your poison, and we're done. Uh, so it's the Hobgoblin Warlord up next to Let's go back to the top. Uh, he, he's enraged. He can't see what's going on inside the in Chad's pad anymore, this purple velveteen uh, big top that's appeared in front of him. Um, but his hobgoblin blood, his goblinoid blood, boils, takes the better of him. Uh, he takes out his greatsword from off of his back and just goes for the nearest person, which is Mike. So he's going to roll to attack. He's got two greatsword attacks. Is this the big boss man? It is the big boss man. Uh, does 13 hit a Mike? A 13 does not hit wow. the mark. So Mike dodges one way. Then she dodges the other way as he gets another <laughs> 13. 
Um, and yeah, that's him. He's just very uh, upset now. But still really hot. Uh, but still really hot, yeah. He wasn't hot. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Wasn't his hair thinning? Oh, <laughs> he had a shaved, oh, shaved head, but with a top knot still on there. And he looks a bit um, feline. Uh, right, okay. Uh, right, okay. I'm getting some feedback okay. from someone. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. What are you? Oh, no, it's all gone now. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> that's him. Right, Bando. Oh, yeah. Oh, so you move Bando. So Bando moves there now. Mm -hmm. um, would you like Bando to do anything or ready in action? Um, yeah, Bando is also going to prep himself that, again, if any of those same three slash four, because he's got my back with this one, if any of them start attacking us or moving towards us, he is going to go and claw their eyeballs out, I guess. Groovy. That's a good plan. Uh, next up is Hobgoblin Captain. He is a corpse. He does nothing. And then Wait, he died? Uh, the captain, not the warlord, oh, so the one okay. that's just up here, uh, oh, died. Yeah. Uh, then it's Parter. What's up, Parter? So, but what? Hang on, hang on. Are you really asking me that? Mm -hmm. You know what's up. Well, I know what's up. I want my arm back. Well, I want my, better, I want my arm back. Get, get in that hole and <laughs> grab it. <laughs> I'm absolutely stick not your head in that, that hole and um, see if you can find it. <laughs> well, I'm currently like right outside the tent, right? Yes, you are currently. Sorry, the pad, the pad. Um, yeah, the so pad, I'm pad. kind of just turning around, looking at. Chad go, oh, my arm, my arm. Uh, Realise that blood is literally squirting all over Chad and yes. myself. Um, <laughs> just because I, I, he has to. Um, yeah. and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna use cure wounds because I'm freaking out, and I also realise that I'm quite heavily damaged at the moment. So yeah. um, um, I'm gonna use level two, so it's two d8 plus five. Nice. Mark the, mark the spell slot off. Roll your dice. Uh, also, while you're standing there, for some reason, it really smells over here. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, I'm definitely not noticing the smell because... My arm. My arm. All the um, other senses are kind of uh, flaring up. Just, I'm just freaking out. Okay. So you um, cover 10 hit points. Would you like to move anywhere, yeah. Pato? Or you have to um, where you are? I'm... Yeah, I'm going to go in between the three of them, Sebastian, uh, Pip, and Chad. Yeah. You get into the phalanx. Yeah. Position. And I'm going to go invisible. Ooh. Oh, uh, is that an action? Because you've already cast Cure Wounds. Unless that's uh, a bonus action. That is a bonus action. Perfect. Uh, hidden step. Cool. So that's a bonus action. Turn invisible to, to the start of my next turn. Lovely stuff. I you attack are... or deal damage. You are invisible. I wonder if there's a little uh, icon for that. Let's have a look. Just delete him. Oh, yeah. I'll just delete <laughs> Delete him. I mean, I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but uh, it'd be fun if there was. I can't. None of those look like. So it doesn't matter. Uh, Chad, uh, with some fresh fur bulk blood <laughs> on your face. Yeah, thanks for that. Um, <laughs> I, so I know that I cast Chad's pad last week, and I know that I had a plan, but that was last <laughs> week, and this is this week, and I don't know what the hell my plan was. Uh, um. Can can I do a nature check? Is that going to count as my thing if I can determine if the black hole is a creature inside of some kind? I don't want to get too close. Um, you can. You'd probably have to uh, stick the old fizzog back into Chad's pad because it's opaque from the outside but transparent on the inside. Are the other goblin men uh, on, on the attack? Are they just sort of watching what's happening while the warlord is kicking up dust? They're definitely uh, on the attack currently. Okay. Um, I'd like to poke my head in to see if I can establish if it's a creature or if it's a thing. I don't know what else it would be, but yeah, I'd like to determine if it's uh, yeah, yeah, a creature. Pop little old Chad inside that circle. Yep, just then, just the head though. Just the head. Just pop the yeah. head in. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, oh, that sounded terrible. Um, and can you pull <laughs> me an Arcana check for me, please? Yes. Uh, 16 plus Arcana, uh, 21. Oh yeah, that's that's enough to know exactly what this is. Um, the chat has escalated to like two <laughs> lizard werewolves have nipples. So just of put that out there. Um, I vote that lizard werewolves would have one nipple on each peck. 
<laughs> on each path. Yeah. Like on each ab. How many? Oh, okay, that makes more sense. I, just, I still have two pecs. Sorry, pec was the wrong word. Ab. Um, yes. Including the tail abs. I'm so just like covered, <laughs> covered in abs down. and nipples. Oh my god. Um, okay. <laughs> Blizzards don't have nipples, do they? They don't no. milk. I didn't draw him with nipples, though. I mean, what worries me is that Spoopy Milk Penguin's called Spoopy Milk Penguin, and they're talking about whether you can or can't milk. Yeah, We're not going to anyone here. <laughs> they're, they're being asked um, for a drawing because they're having a hard time visualizing. So, Leo, if you can okay. draw. Yeah. Draw just just add the nipple and nipples. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you got you got to give the people what they want. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I will work on a nipple drawing. <laughs> Uh, and with that, uh, you do know, um, you roll high enough on your arcana check to know that this is a, a magical artifact uh, rather than a spell or a portal um, called an, a sphere of annihilation. So you probably would have read this and oh, uh, accidentally read it when one of your the tomes that you were lifting uh, whilst working out in Akaran's occult anatheum um, just opened up as you dropped it and to the page of Sphere of Annihilation and you just accidentally read it. Um, it starts off, normally it's just a two foot diameter black sphere which is a hole in the multiverse um, okay. and it hovers in the middle of space um, and stabilised by a magical field that surrounds it. Uh, however um, between you all you've also established that there are these artefacts that are kind of orbiting it which is feeding it um, these enlarged reduced spells uh, so it's going to make it start to grow in size. Okay. So it's called a sphere of annihilation. Okay. Uh, I, I presume that that's my. I can't cast a spell on top of moving and. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Check. That was just a check. That was just a. I'm gonna have a bit hey. of a think. Okay. All right. I didn't know I could do that. So I'm reading a spell, and you're probably gonna be able to help me here. It says that I can banish one creature, but can I banish an artifact? If it says creature, specifically, it's creature only. One creature. Yeah. The target. Shit. If it okay. says not, uh, if it can do both, it will usually say creature or object. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, I'm going to try and. By the way, when you stick your head back into uh, Chad's pad, both Roger and Partisan, uh, being the only two people left in here and not aware of what Chad's pad is, starts uh, they start screaming at you. What do we do? Where are we? What's going on? What's that sphere? <laughs> why? Why have you just got a head? Tell them to uh, stick their head in. <laughs> Tell them to stick their head in. Stick into the. Well, into the sphere. No. The sphere. No. But we like we like Parmesan and Partisan, yeah. don't we? You, yeah, no. they're my food. Your you arm like, literally disappeared into that. Yeah, you like back door, Roger. Uh, I don't want to get rid of Roger. Them. Back alley, Roger. Sorry, back alley, Roger. Uh, I don't want to get rid of them. Uh, but there's also no hobgoblins close enough to me to throw anything into it. Is there anything that I could? I don't actually know because that'll just make it bigger, huh? There's uh you don't think it'll make it bigger. You don't think it's a case of like ob things will feed it. It's just that if it's two foot in diameter and you throw it at it, it will go. It'll just be annihilated. So if I throw something in it, it's not going to get bigger. No, test it. I do want to test it, but is there anything within Armature. range? Oh yeah, <laughs> there's. You could pick. You could pick up some snow, <laughs> make a snowball. Uh, you could like break off a bit of chunk of ice with your arm blade, throw that in there. There's some. Uh, you're standing on uh, a partially. Uh, decrepit um, staircase, so you could pick up like a bit of mortar or brick and throw that in there. Uh, I want to get Sebastian's a... stand sandals. Sandals? No. One of his sandals? Yeah. There's a yeah. tin no. cup on the floor. Uh, there is one of Sebastian's sandals sandals on the floor because when Pip grabbed him and launched him in the air, one of his sandals flew off. This is Sebastian's this is sandals a... is a man with very little things, <laughs> and his sandals are a defining feature of his personality. Get rid Sebastian... of the sandals. Sandal. Uh, I, I, I want to know how, what this thing responds to. And this definitely wasn't my plan last week, which I forgot. So I'm going to just huck a sandal into the sphere of the banishment. Okay. Uh, you pluck up one of Sebastian's sandals to start a sandal um, with like a, your forefinger and thumb uh, in between nail and just huck it into the sphere. And uh, you can hear it going through the air like whap, 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 and then nothing as it goes into the sphere <laughs> just disappears uh Par parmesan and roger uh you might want to uh take a step back no 
No. Mm-hmm. No, that sounds, like, that sounds like a great idea. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't save them. <laughs> no worries. Sorry, I was distracted. Um, Groovy. Uh, and do you want to? You can still got. Well, you've still got uh, twenty feet of movement left. I'm gonna just stick my head back out of okay. the, yep. my pad. You can move and yourself another four squares. Down here. Yeah. I'm gonna Perfect. go back to Potter's side. Please don't bleed on me anymore. That was a very full round. Um, you kind of half make eye contact with Sebastian Sandal, who's um, still laying prone on the floor, uh, but like robbing his cold foot. <laughs> I, I, I don't suppose you've seen my uh, my, my uh, sandal. I, I lost it in the in Zoom fight. Potter owes you one <laughs> sandal. Okay. Hey, what are you I owe him? <laughs> you're the one that took him off him. Um, <laughs> Mike, uh, you're up. Um, can I also just remind you all quickly over WhatsApp that um, we know that it's the artifacts around it that are feeding mm. it. So. Oh, Maybe we'll next time me and throw more shoes into the hole. <laughs> me and Could Pim put two in, but how many's left in? Uh, there are nine, uh, eight, sorry, eight mm. left. Oops, forgot about that. <laughs> Unimportant, really, in the grand scheme. <laughs> yeah, it's, fine. it's got another sandal in there. Uh, so, uh, Mike, um, you've got this uh, Vanon Drag- Dragus Hobgoblin Warlord extraordinaire uh, all up in your grizzle. Yeah. Trying to mess with your shizzle. Um, but his well, attacks, they did fizzle. First of all, <laughs> people in the chat are going hard when Sebastian Sanders losing his identity. <laughs> <laughs> and he's Sanders, and they're like, Sebastian, no! <laughs> he's a that broken man. <laughs> um, he's still he's wearing a bin lid, bin lid on his head, though, so that's fine. If if he loses his leg, then it'll be fine. Yeah. No. Will it? <laughs> Your yeah. logic? How? <laughs> Chad yeah. says, waving the oldest axe. Mm, uh, I got an idea. Uh, <laughs> and I'll just um, solve this problem. <laughs> and there's one extra leg for the sphere. Yeah. <laughs> See if it responds differently. Tim, Tim, would I be able to... If I wanted to carry this thing, would I be able to carry it? Uh, it is... Currently now, uh, last time you saw it, you can't see it currently because it's inside Chad's pad, which is opaque. Uh, but last time you saw it, it was kind of floating midair. It's not like resting on anything. So to actually pick it up, you'd have to do what part did and put his hand in it. So I wouldn't be able to use Dimension Door and take it with me. Um, I mean, I've given you as much... Well, why don't you roll an Arcana check as well? Because it's, it's fair, you wouldn't have got Chad's knowledge at this point, and he didn't say anything over, um, what's it called? Mind app? Thought app? That's it. Thought what's app. That? Is it? What's that? Arcana. Please. Me too. Yeah, you'd know that there's no, you'd, you'd have to, you'd have to be carrying an object to take it through Dimension Door, and if you to try to pick this object up, your arms would be consumed. It's also a good thing that I can't see Parter because if there's blood pouring out of him, then I'm like... <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's covered in it. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's in trouble. Okay, in that case, then I'm going to uh, cast my eyes on the horrible person next to me. Not you, Aya, don't worry. Um, <laughs> the bad man. And I want to laugh in his face and cast... Um, hideous laughter. <laughs> nice. Infectious. <laughs> he doesn't so, really do anything. <laughs> let's find out uh, Tasha's hideous laughter. Um, I believe that he has to do a, a roll, a wisdom saving throw. Mm-hmm. Okay, wisdom saving throw. And his wisdom is approximately the following number please be low the wisdom that we're all waiting for is zero there we go that was <laughs> anticlimactic so he gets 12 he fails so you start you brandish your extra wide mouth with these huge vampiritic fangs on them start laughing and then he starts chuckling and then guffawing 
Um, he is now incapacitated and he drops to one knee. Uh, he drops his long sword and puts one uh, hand on his knee, the other hand on his gut. <laughs> and so. I didn't harm him. You did not. Well done. That uh, was a two minutes. <laughs> would you like to uh, move anywhere? Uh... <laughs> You're going to kill all of my men. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm going to stay there. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, it's now the Hobgoblin's turn. So, um, Pip, uh, can you do your bando and poison arrow yeah. thing as um, the three around you uh, start knocking arrows threateningly in their bows? Um, <clears throat> I am going to go for this one. This one. This one. Got it. Um because I don't like the fact that he's behind me. Cool. So, um, arrow first. Uh, yes, please. That is a three. Three? Plus? Um, but plus 11. Jeez Louise. Uh, that does not hit him, but that was, uh, yeah, that's a lot of uh, pluses to that. Um, so, yeah, that one goes off. Uh, do you have a second attack at your level? I believe you do. Uh, yes, I should do... Extra attack. You can attack cool. twice. Groovy. So this one wouldn't have the poison on it because a bonus action you can only dip one arrow at a time. Okay. Um, so the first poison arrow goes and then you knock another normal one. <laughs> Natural one. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, and uh, the poison one you, you take it out of the um, the quiver, you, you line it all up and then uh, Sebastian Sandal starts trying to stand up and just like pulls at your back and he just puts you off and the arrow goes off into uh, the stratosphere. Okay, he's just stressed. It's fine. I don't blame him. Uh, and do you want to do Bando? Yeah. I don't know. No. I don't think Bando's got a range attack, so he might have to go swoop into the kill. Yeah, he's just claw, claw, claw. Um, I rolled an eight, and he. What would I add that to for claw? <laughs> I think he's got it in his uh, like Artax somewhere. Um, Let's find his character sheet. On his character sheet, but is in uh, in extras. On your sheet, if you click on him, uh, little bando, and it's um, uh, bite. Oh, he's bite. So he doesn't do claw, but oh. he doesn't do a bite. He's got plus one to hit. Okay, so he so, probably doesn't hit them. Yeah, he just kind of harasses one, but uh, um, the hoggle just kind of shoes him away with the arrow and the in the longbow. Um, can I use my bonus action as well? Yeah, of course. Um, to take the other sandal off of. Sebastian and hit Chad around the head with it. <laughs> sure. Uh, roll to hit. Well, uh, 1d20 plus um, a dexterity modifier, so plus five. Well, there you go. Yeah, easy. Uh, you just you just take it off. One smooth, swift mo uh, movement. You just throw the sandal in. It clocks Chad around the head. I'm going to throw that sandal back into the black hole. Don't you dare. <laughs> my, my feet, they're so cold. Did, did I just give you... You threw one of my sandals in the in the black hole. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't I don't mind, I guess, but I'm just so cold. Oh my, he's breaking my heart. Um, and yeah. we'll move on to you the actual. Uh, so the um, I'm going to split their attacks uh, as evenly as I can. Um, so we'll say um, one hobgoblin guy over here is going to fire at Chad. Uh, Twelve. Oh, I'm wait. assuming that doesn't hit you, Chad. Does not. Uh, and then I think the uh, these two here uh, will fire at Pip. <gasps> uh, that wouldn't hit Pip. Uh, that might hit Pip. So Pip, you take um, five points of piercing damage, which is uh, <laughs> nothing to your hit points, really. It takes you down to double digits at this point. Wipe it off. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, this guy over here, uh, is going to fire at. Hmm. I mean, he's got a good shot on three of you, so I'm going to say uh, one is Sebastian, two is Parter, and three is Pip. Can he see me, though? Because I'm invisible. Oh, he can't. Does he, know, does he know I'm there? So he can see through you and to Chad. So one is Sebastian, two is Pip, three is Chad. Uh, one is Sebastian. He's going to fire at Sebastian. 
Can I dive in front of the arrow? <laughs> uh, you've currently kind of got your back to them because you're firing at the guy that's kind of below you, so you don't really see this happening. It's all happening at the same time as well. Yeah, that hit Sebastian. Oh, no. Uh, no. Uh, and just this arrow shunks in Sebastian's side. Oh! <laughs> Because he didn't have his sandal on. Yeah. Was only and uh, he, he drops again to the floor and just grabs the um, the arrow in his side, uh, going wide-eyed. Why? <laughs> uh, and the, this guy is going to move down and uh, I'm going to say I'll do the same. Another 1d3 to see if he picks a target. Oh, God. Sebastian, <laughs> no. Sandals again. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Uh... Um, that doesn't hit Sebastian this time. He kind of like uh, shoulder shoulders against the other guy. Doesn't really get a very good um, clean shot on him. And then Sebastian falls and just whisks over his head off into nothing. Good, that would have killed Sebastian. Poor oh, man. Um, going up to the three that are inside the uh, Chad's pad. Um, I'm going to say they. Uh, this one's going to engage Partisan. These two are going to fire arrows at Partisan. That's a hit. And that's a hit. And then with the guy's uh, longsword, um, that's also a plus three to hit. Uh, yeah, all of those hit. So he takes uh, 15 points of damage. He is dead. Partisan. Yes. Oops. Oh. My packed lunch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Roger goes, No! Partisan, no! Uh, as he falls to his knees dramatically and uh, drops his longsword. Um, the only way that we can make this better is by also putting Parmesan into the hole. Yes. Now, now that misery. Yeah. yeah. We can't <laughs> let the him. only way. Wouldn't be fair. Only the way. only way. Only way. Maybe we can throw him at the artifacts and he can take them with him. Yeah, that's, that's a very good, good point. Uh, like Smashburger. <laughs> uh, what does the Smashburger think of this whole situation? <laughs> Smashburger. Hmm. Um, I mean, he's he's disinterested because I'm not sure that there's much he can do. Um, he's going to crawl near me mm -hmm. in a creepy way, and if um if there is any attack incoming, he's going to web them. Any attack incoming, he's going to web them. So as you, yep, that sounds good. So coming at him specifically? At, at me, uh, yeah. not him. Not him. He has no self preservation. Instinct. Okay. So he's right next to you. Um, you also hear from behind you as well, like his middle left, one of his middle left legs um, is just reaching out to one side and hooks onto the hog goblin and starts trying to pull it towards <laughs> that's it. Okay. That's okay. I would have thought you were quite full from the dead body yeah. we fed you like yesterday. I'm not sure. You might just take it as like a, a walk me down. That's fair. You've earned that. Uh, right, Aya, you'll go. Um, I am going to... Uh, set between Mike and the giggling man uh -huh. and um, just say that I know we're probably far past the point of like a trust situation but um, you can either help us stop the black hole which we definitely didn't cause and did made no effort to attack you didn't know it was in the box sorry or we can kill you all and we'll all probably might all die so, like, I think we should probably work together. And if he doesn't accept, then I'm going to hit him on the floor. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> uh, are you going to step closer to him? You can move. Yourself. Yeah, I'm going to step between him and, like, I know he's giggling, so I don't even know if um, he's So he's still, like, on one knee. Uh, his, his hand is gripping his belly. So, <laughs> if the sphere doesn't get you, <laughs> I'm going to kill you myself. And then I'm going to hit him. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> um, roll to hit with advantage because he's technically prone. Amazing. Uh, that's a fourteen plus plus nine, twenty-one. Uh, yeah, you can roll with advantage. Okay. You might crit. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, double nines. Uh, so twenty-one. Sorry, I was looking at the one above. So it's, it's nine plus nine, eighteen. Oh, eighteen. Yeah, eighteen will hit. I believe. Actually, did I say that? 18 won't hit him. Oh, no, wait a minute. Um, <laughs> Sorry, 18 does hit him. He's got 20 because he's got well, shield. Well, gives you plus two. So, yeah, 18 is exactly what you need because he okay. would have dropped his shield as well. 
I have two attacks. Do you want me to roll them both now? Or roll uh, yeah, hands? roll them both again. Yeah. Hit him with a sandal. <laughs> uh, and that second one will hit. Yeah. So both Amazing. attacks hit. Okay. And the question here is, do you want to feed any smites into your attacks as well? Quite possibly. I'm going to see what I roll. Um, Tim, just quickly while she's rolling, can you settle something for the chat? Of course. How do you spell, how do you spell Napna? Uh, Napna is G-N-A-P. Uh, actually, I'm going to have to look it up. It's been a while since I looked that little boy up. Uh, that's a good question, chat. Thanks. We'll come back. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to you. Um, we'll be right the suspense is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you've rolled uh, 22 damage. Would you like to put any smite into that? Yeah. Um, I mean, 22 is quite significant, but sure. Because he was very rude when he turned down a very nice, not completely insane offer, I will uh, do thunderous smite at first level, so uh, thunder within 300 feet is audible and uh, an extra 2d6 thunder damage. If the target is a creature, it must succeed in a strength saving throw, I'll be pushed 10 feet away. Okay. Towards the hole. Strength saving throw. Oh. Saving it was cost. 7, the extra damage. Cool. Uh, what's your DC for your smite? Uh, uh, beyond 17. Your, beyond your spells. So yeah, you got 14, so he's pushed 10 feet backwards. Um, so Into Chad's bed or in just away? Away from you. <laughs> so you can probably get, probably get him to go here or over the table, like Dukes of Hazard style. <laughs> yeah? Wh okay. Which way would you like him to go? Oh, over go? the table. Over Dukes the table. Of cool. Always Dukes of Hazard time. Always Dukes of Hazard style. Okay. Um, can you roll me another d6 of damage as he goes through the table? <laughs> so he takes 32 points of damage in total. Uh, and he's still laughing as it happens. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, I'm in serious pain. <laughs> I think I might have broken my back. Listen. <laughs> I regret all of my decisions in life. <laughs> oh, 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 oh no. He's so friendly. He is when he's being forced to laugh. <laughs> um and each time he takes damage, I need to do a little wisdom saving throw for him. Now he's taken that immense amount of damage. So he needs to be uh yeah, no, he doesn't. He's still guffawing <laughs> on the floor. He seems as intimidating as your like superior or legendary crab or whatever it was that you Attacked us with that just wow, thanks. <laughs> yeah, shade on me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Um, so Pip is around, it's back around to you. Oh, good. Um, I um, sandalless bleeding Sebastian's groaning about uh, just behind you. Yeah, I mean, I want to help him, but I have nothing to help him with. Um, so I am gonna, oh, yeah, I've been slapped with the sandal and haven't been given any recourse. <laughs> Because uh, it was on Pip's turn. Oh, wait a minute. It was a. Wait, yeah, when did I do that? Oh, because she she uh she stopped um held that. did a held action. Yeah. That's why. That's right. I was like, why? Yeah. Why are you, why are you, why are you, why are you, <laughs> oh my I'm god, slapped the like, All right. Party, bye. Bye. <laughs> um, can for the future, my held action will always to be slap Chad. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't already hold an action, I will yeah, assume that your held what action is slap slap Chad. Um, I am gonna actually focus on the bigger problem here, which is the, you know, black hole. It's slowly gonna kill us all. Um, so I am gonna. Uh, what did I do last time? I used my slingshot, right, to knock one out of the. Uh, that's what you did last time, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do that again because it seemed to work. Okay, okay. Um, so, you currently can't see it. Mm -hmm, it's I'm gonna. Chad's pad. Poke, poke my head into Chad's pad. Okay, go for it. Do you want to move yourself into Chad's bed? Do I have to be in like half in, half out? There yeah, there you go. That's perfect. Okay, um, so I, I was uh, next to him anyway. Hitting. Now, when you pop your head in, you see that. Oh, oh shit! Oh, um, oh. oh shit! It is now about eight feet by eight feet wide, uh, and is has like encompassed part of uh, the fallen partisan's body, uh, and all of the hobgoblins <laughs> press themselves up against the wall of Chad's bed, uh, like scrambling to find an exit. 
uh, whilst Roger is still on his knees, uh, crying into his gauntlets. We better kill that lady that gave this to us. Mm, agreed. But also, out of character, someone wisely said in the chat that she owes us an army. Yeah, I'm going to send them all into this pit of a banishment. Yeah, um, we also can't kill every army that has to kill the undead army, but somebody... also he's a dick, so I don't know, it's really hard to do. We also I just don't know who the good guys sort of, are. We didn't get any sort of proof that she actually owes us that army, we were just like, take your word for it, right? <laughs> she, gave us, she gave us stony tonies. Oh yeah, we should probably use them at some point, don't forget yeah. that we have those. You just use them to prank call her and be like, okay. Yeah, I'm going to send her straight into this thing. <laughs> Also, I know that these um, hobgoblins are like they are trying to kill us, but also they, to be fair, we are strangers that have just come in and set up a trap. They don't know that we're actually good. You so, change your tune to every <laughs> person we've ever met before. <laughs> no, also, yeah, this, this this laughter is infectious, and I'm having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> but it would be pretty stupid if I lost my arm on purpose. You did. Yeah, but we wouldn't set a trap and then come yeah, in. I tried, we tried to explain it to him, and he just laughed in my face. It was really weird. Um, us purposefully setting a trap and then losing body parts into it sounds like one of the most us things that we could do. Yeah. 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 All right. Oh, someone said in the chat, has Chad forgotten you used to howl? I think you have. <laughs> no, I haven't. I was saving that. <laughs> I'm going to save the day with that howl. <laughs> Um, okay, I've also realised that as a bonus action, I can cast Hail of Thorns. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to cast that, aim for one, and hope that the hail hits any more out of the way. <laughs> okay, okay. That's a good idea. But in, in the pad? Yeah, in the pad, and I hope that you're in the way. What? <laughs> what? It's Chad's <laughs> pad. Um, so actually... You can't cast Hail of Thorns on it because it's uh, creature specific. Wait, what? Hail of Thorns. Next time you hit a creature with a ranged weapon attack, oh. the thorns fell in. Okay. Uh, the spell creates a range of thorns that sprouts out from a range of weapons. Well, it was a good plan and it proves yeah. that I do know how to play D&D. Which... You better not just hit me with your turn. <laughs> just turn around and throw <laughs> yeah, it Yeah, I, I aim for the chat. <laughs> um, okay, just a normal slingshot then in the hopes that I get one of the artifacts. Groovy. I roll to hit. 15. Uh, 15 hits it. Can you roll some damage, please? Yes. Damage. Damage. 1d4 plus 5. Does that sound about right? Yeah, that sounds right. That sounds right for a screenshot. Seven. Um, it dings uh, one of the artifacts, and it wobbles in place, and then settles down. Uh, it's got a big old dent in the side of it, but you haven't managed to dislodge it from his orbit yet. Can I do my second action and yes, just do the same thing towards the same person? Absolutely. Twenty nine. Definitely will hit that. <laughs> so one hundred percent hit that object. And watch me roll a one for damage. <laughs> Eight. That's enough. Yes, you break apart uh, the object, and it kind of um, there's like an arcane crackle. Uh, some arcs of lightning break out from inside of it and the spell dissipates and then immediately the sphere absorbs those two halves and it disappears into the sphere. One more down. How many are left now? Um, so one, two, three, four, six are left. Four. Yeah, it's grown twice. Destroyed. Okay. Um, do I... I still have a bonus action. You do. Yes. Again, bonus action to... Hold action. Can I do that? Uh, no, because you've used your action to do the two shots. Okay. Bonus action to... Um, nothing. Bonus action to congratulate myself. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> and you've still got uh, 15 feet, uh, three squares of movement if you wish to use them. Um, I would like to go to this side. But more out than in. <laughs> okay, okay. More out than in. Job done. Um, yeah, behave, Tim. The, uh, it's Vanon's <laughs> turn now. I didn't say anything. I just repeated what I didn't say. More out than in. Uh, no, just into Roger. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> Vanon kind Back of half pushed himself up. He's now 
um, like on all fours, like covered in like bits of the table, uh, which some of which like slides off him, and he's just guffawing. Um, uh, like there's tears streaming down his face uh, as he's like scream laughing into the into the floor. <laughs> if I can't get out of here, I'm going to spend perpetual darkness of eternity. <laughs> oh, we're all fucked. <laughs> that is funny. And uh, that's his. To, that's his go. Uh, Bando. Uh, Bando would like to bite. Um, he is going to go to this this one. This one, which I believe you can't see on the map. Oh, yeah, you can now. Um, and bite or attempt to bite. Cool, roll to hit. Um, it's got five. plus one, I believe. Seventeen. Does not hit. What? <laughs> yes, I know, right? They are uh, tough people. Okay. Actually, he's got. A longbow. Sorry, that does hit. Because oh. he's using his longbow, which means he can't use a shield, which means his AC is 16, so you do hit. So um, do, do some bite damage. His damage is 1d4 minus 1, so it's more just like... Pestering him. Yeah. Confusing him. Three. Oh, that's good, though. That's a good amount of damage. Noise. 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 Damage. Done. Yeah, he, he sinks his teeth into like a the arm that's being tensioned as he's pulling back one of the arrows. I feel like I need to get a more powerful pet. <laughs> <laughs> this is living. Keep him alive, okay? That's all we need to do. <laughs> Groovy. Uh, so after that is uh, Hobgoblin Captain. He's dead. Parter. <gasps> then after Parter, it's Chad. Um, when you're moving each square, can yes. you go diagonally as one yes. five foot? Okay, I'm going to go one, two, three, into Chad's pad. Okay. To other hmm. part of Sam was he wearing sandals? No, he was wearing uh, journeyman's boots, so like leather and fur lined uh, lace up boots. As I'm invisible, nobody can see me. I'm gonna quickly pop across mm -hmm. next to his body. Well, how many could... times can you do the hidden step thing? Is that just every single turn? Uh, no, so it's once. Oh, because it'll it's be it, you are invisible until the beginning of your next turn, or is it the end of your next um, turn? I will just confirm that for you two seconds. Uh, do, 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 do. I know what as, you're going to do, Joe. It's a bonus <laughs> action turn. Uh, as a bonus action, turn invisible till the start of your next turn. Yeah. So you're you now attack, visible. deal damage, or force a saving throw. So you're currently okay. visible now. Okay. Yeah, anyway, I'm still going to go with it. I run in. I'm going to yoik his boots off. Okay. Thinking I'm still invisible. Yeah. And be like, hey man, wait, it's really hard with one arm. <laughs> it's going to take a while to get used to. Okay. I'm going to pull him off. Um, and then I'm just going to try and come back out. Okay. Back to where, where he is. You have a successful turn of stealing somebody's boots. And I come back here. Nice. Just outside of Chad's pad. Job done. And, and dump them down by uh, by my friend. Yeah. Um, Sebastian's kind of like gurgling blood as it falls <coughs> out of his mouth. As he yeah, he's boots. injured, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Look how he's dying and we're like, here are some clothes. <laughs> You're welcome. But I don't want him, him to time. die with cold feet. I don't you want him to die with cold feet. You didn't just give them to him, you dumped them by him. <laughs> Also, his feet were always cold. He was wearing sandals in the tundra. I've only got one arm. I can't put them on for him as well. <laughs> this isn't about you, Potter. It's about him. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll do lay on hand and cure his <laughs> wounds next time or something. <laughs> next. <laughs> if he survives. Yeah. I'll do that. Can I can't I can't then do a spell. Oh, no, I could actually. Can I? Yeah, you could do a spell. I mean, all yeah, you do is like, I... steal someone's shoes. Then I'm going to do <laughs> then I'm gonna do cure wounds on him. Okay. Um, all right. There we go. Bonus action, cure wounds, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Cure <laughs> wounds. Le level one, though. Level so one. 1d8. 1d8 plus five. Um... I like him, but not that much. <laughs> okay. Look, I like him enough to risk my other arm to go into that tent, all right? Uh, 13. He's on full health now. 
Oh, no. Yay. Oh, go on in. Oh, that matters, really. We've won the game. Yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah. Uh, Chad, um, you, you turn around to see uh, Parda mending Sebastian's wounds as he. Parda lays his. Uh, I cast a healing spell. The arrow kind of grows out of Sebastian and falls to the floor, and his wound stitches up. And uh, Sebastian's helped. eyes go glassy as he looks up at Parta. <laughs> Well done, Parta. for me. <laughs> just reaches Sorry up and just me. puts entangles his uh, fingers in your uh, beard. Thank you. It's weirdly, you're welcome. Intent. As I just yeah, I'm just going to like arrows going him, okay. overhead, and I'm just going to look at him expectantly. Um, camera zooms to Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Um, can I, in character, ask uh, Pip, what did she hit with her arrows? Did you hit some goblins? Um, no, I hit the um, <clears throat> the artifacts flying around the orb. The orbs flying around the hole. So I either didn't know about them or forgot about them. More likely forgot about them. Are they are they orbiting yes. the black yeah, hole? Yeah, they're like in the gravitational pull of it. Okay. So what I'd like to do, how thick is the ice? Um, it. Um, why don't you do a nature check for me? Maybe I will. Yeah, classic, classic Chad nature check. Classic yeah, Chad. You, you, you could stand up with the with the bag open like that, and as it orbits, <laughs> it goes into it. Uh, Just 10, run at it. Uh, Eleven. You, <laughs> you Eleven. Um, yeah. You kind of stamp on the floor. It seems pretty pretty thick because they've built a structure on it. But is it thicker than dragon's breath? Uh, I mean, Dragon's Breath is magical, and this is just regular ice. So yeah, so I feel like what I'm gonna do is go back to Chad's pad. Okay. And again, <laughs> just just stick my head in, just a little bit. Yep. And do Dragon's Breath directly under the black hole. So I, I love I love what you, where your head's at right now. I do. Yeah. Um, there's just two minor things I want to point out. Oh no. Um, minor. One, one of which that I've um, said a couple of times. Um, oh yeah. Is that it's floating <laughs> in air. And the second one is that you've had to climb these steps up into a concrete structure that it's sitting on as well. <laughs> so it's not on the ice. Can't it's not on the ice. That was a really no. good. Yeah. But other than that, flawless. Other than plan. that, I was pretty much there. You were top notch. A it plus. just shows that we don't listen. I guess it's... I was too busy drawing nipples. Uh, I, <laughs> I guess excuse. it's... That was <laughs> an excuse. Uh, I guess it's time for the bag of holding. Um, um, I would also tell you now that the uh, the sphere is bigger than the bag of holding is now. Oh, no, right. the, the orbiting artifacts. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, you, know, you could try and catch one of those <laughs> like if you want to with one hand. <laughs> I can well, I, 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 no, I really want to catch scary. them so that way they all start circling into the okay. yeah. I holding. I like then... understand what you're saying, but you're yeah. kind of yeah. on the plane of like you're holding a bag <coughs> like right next to what is effectively a black hole. But how like, close are these things? Um, so now you've cut, you're you're a wizard. I'll give you this one for free. <coughs> Actually, is no. He? I've got a better. I've got a better idea. Okay. I'm going to hold the bag with Big B's big hand. Mm, I was going to say your axe, and then we've got one. No, 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 I need, I, need my, I, need, I need my axe. But with Big B's big hand mm -hmm. holding the bag of holding near. Um, just be really careful because um, someone said that if the black hole goes into the bag of holding or the other way around, I can't remember. Bag into the hole. Really bad things happen. <laughs> yeah, really, really bad things happen. <laughs> Do I, but you wouldn't know the that. whole universe. Eat itself. Kind of I think I just run with it. Uh -oh. well, he wouldn't have known that. No, I, d I didn't. I mean, well, we, we wouldn't have known that, but also I don't want the black hole. I want all the artifacts that are just oh, going I know. around. I know what you're saying, yeah. Uh-oh. It's, it. like, it's like in the IT crowd, if you Google the word Google, the internet explodes. Yeah. Uh, Do it. If you I want, I can, I, this makes I, sense. I, I, I can cast telekinesis and like levitate you if you need. So it'd be like a, like a pie film where you like dangling from above. It's like. it's like a, a a claw machine, but it's just me with a big hand and a big bag. <laughs> it's an axe machine. An axe machine. I think, uh, I think I think this makes sense. I didn't talk it out with you guys, um, and Tim seems a little bit nervous. So just do it. I'm definitely gonna do it. <laughs> this yeah. is. God. 
Uh, okay, go for it. Um, I would like you, uh, number one, uh, obviously you've got to cast. You don't have yeah, to big, cast it, but you are. I cast you're, you're choosing to big cast Big bees, me. big hands. Uh, which one? Clenched fist, forceful hand, grasping hand, interposing hand? Clenched fist. Clenched I think I wrote it down. Fist. Yeah. Turn a door or slap a man. Either way, it's on command. Give me five and watch my hand. Or watch my plan. Here it comes. It's a big hand. Yes. Hey. So, well, my uh, big hand so with my big bag of holding. It, you cho you chosen clenched fist, the most awkward version of Big B's big hand to hold cool. something. Also, but it's, it's yeah. holding the edge of it. Yeah. You know what you could have done is just cast the big hand to just push them into the black. <laughs> 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 uh, I mean, and you know, we've been talking me. mentally the whole time, and you decided until after I cast it to tell me. But no one I mean, knows because you're inside Chad's pad. I mean, I'm also kind of in Chad's pad. I'm more, I'm more <laughs> out than in, but I'm a little bit in. <laughs> that's what she said. Um, yeah. So, uh, okay, lovely. That's that's wonderful. Um, but I'm gonna line it up big, big old clenched fist has got hold of the bag of holding, which you're waving very close to. <laughs> oh <my God>. Um. <laughs> Oh jeez. Um, <laughs> really I'm really stressed out. I'm really I hate this. I'm also like, like, um, I'm like I have so, so much anxiety. anxiety. I don't know what my show might be over. Right. AC twenty. Yeah, strength of twenty six. Dexterity of zero. Okay, good. I'm glad that it's got a dexterity of zero. That's great. Um, can you just roll a one d twenty for me, please? Oh my god. I catch you. With no other bonus. <laughs> also, to break the tension. Okay. Um, you manage to actually you catch one of the artifacts and it, of my big strong slides, arms. And it slides you did it, into, you crazy you son a of a bitch. 19 on the, just a <laughs> please, please move straight the 20 now. roll. And you only went and did it. Straight in. You did it, you crazy son of a bitch. You did it. Lovely stuff. <laughs> please uh, move the bag away from the hole, please. I'm going to wave it around a whole bunch <laughs> to show off what I did. Yeah, to get, to get, <laughs> Because the uh, each artifact, like there's, as I said before, there's like a golden cup. Uh, there's like a, a hairbrush. They're all just mundane artifacts, but they are high quality, um, and they're all like skirting the event horizon of this um, black hole. So you have to like hold the bag like right up against this void of nothing, so that one of them will go in, which you managed to accomplish. Um, the DC was very high, and you did it. So, um, I've actually got like a bit hot with the anxiety yeah. of that whole thing. You and me both. Um, Miss it, Tim. You're quite impressed. I am very impressed. And with that, it's Mike's go. Are we still alive? That. Oh, uh, Chad, did you want to move out? Yeah, am I still alive? Did I get all the things? Am I? In, you got one. You got one of them. A black hole. Yeah, you got one. Oh, of I got them. one of them. Yeah. All of that for one of them. Oh my yeah. god. Uh. Down to five. Last, wait, wait, hold on. The last time we were in here, it grew. You don't know that. Although now you've looked, because uh, Pip looked, saw it was bigger, came out, but didn't say anything. Now you've gone in, you're like, oh, it's bigger than it was before. Um, I'm going to use my I common went in last time to talk. Yeah, talk. last time. Yeah, last time you oh. were in, uh, Chad, it was the same size it was originally. Oh shit. Okay. So um, in between, it grew. I say this gets bigger, so you should probably move away from it. And I do. Okay. I but say that to all of you, by the way. Right. And Parmesan. Um, um, but it doesn't mean much to him. No. I removed <laughs> my head okay. from Chad's bed. Um, can I just say, if Parmesan doesn't die with Parmesan, then they weren't ever really friends. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't die work? together, does it even count? Okay. <laughs> I'm happy to go in and just kick him up the arse and push him towards the hole. <clears throat> Remember the pact that we made together, if one of us dies, we all die? That's what really? Chad was trying did to we, do. Did we make that pact? Yeah, I yeah. made that pact. <laughs> What's the pact? I made that pact with the entire world. If I die, <laughs> we're all going down. <laughs> oh That's ominous. Uh, Mike. I, um, I want to do something, but I don't think it would be great. But it's what I would do. It can't be any worse than what Chad just did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fine. Challenge accepted. <laughs> um, I'd like to take my birthday present in one hand uh -huh. and a dagger in the other. Sure. What do you think I'm going to do? Le leap into the sphere of annihilation. I don't know. <laughs> no. Um, can you also just explain what your birthday present is? Because you still haven't ever told us. 
Uh, yeah. I think that's a, a reason that Mike has never shared this information with you. Oh, okay. So you might have to ask her in character. Okay. I'll say yeah, a, bit, bit, busy, bit busy now, Pip. I'll see you later. <laughs> if we survive this. Aren't you glad that you have this whole battle just with my <laughs> constant stream of nonsense yeah. going on? Mike, Mike, Mike. Hey, Mike, Mike over here. Mike, hey, Mike, Mike. What are you holding? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> What are you thinking? What's fun? <laughs> Do you want to grab a smash burger after this? Hey. Meet him. Hey. What, what do you think I'm going to do with two daggers? Oh, well, you're obviously going to go and just take out Dragus's knees or ankles. 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 Yeah. Creepy. I would like to go. Are you lying like... down? Yes. <laughs> that means he can't get up. So while he's been like laughing, yeah. I would like to Slicing go and... Achilles tendon. I, I would like to go and slit both ankles Lovely. while singing. <laughs> it's because in character, I've just recently watched Mary Poppins in my last work break. So I would like to be slicing his ankles while singing. I love to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so creepy. Proper mental. Okay, move uh, move Mike over to next to uh, Vanon Dragos. Please do Blood Angels. Yes. Blood Angels. If, if, if successful. Um, Tim, can your homework for next week, because you don't already have enough as DM, um, to create the D&D &D name for Mary Poppins, like how we had Lana Del Poison Spray? Oh, yeah. Okay. I want to know what Mary I'm pretty Poppins sure that uh, chat can probably take care of that for me. Chad Chattery, Chad Chattery, Chad Chattery. He's got an accent, it's coming for you. Hey. <laughs> That's awesome. That was good. Uh, all right, so uh, Mike, can you roll uh, twice for both daggers, please? All goes silent as Mike stabs. <laughs> being at, being at the, uh, what's the this gone silent? Tournament. Uh, Tigratron <laughs> asked a question about the death pact that we all uh, all made. That if one of us dies, we all die. Yeah. Um, does it does it have a vampire clause? I'm assuming yes, because <laughs> well, no, technically you're a vampire yeah, already. already, <laughs> already it also has a sex god clause. Um, if more than um, I can't wait. I can't do maths with five people. But if more than half of us, two point so, five of us, yeah, two point five. If 2.5 of us become vampires, all of us have to become vampires. That's the goal. Right, so <laughs> I'm happy the to take half, everyone down. The bottom half or the top half becomes vampire. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. you, you choose, or I'll just surprise everyone. Um, can I just ask what bottom half vampire is as well? <laughs> one, we would never know. What, what? Until that day comes. Bottom <laughs> half vampire, like just my legs need um, blood or something. Um, yeah. Mike, you hit with uh, both your daggers. Uh, can you roll um, 1d4 plus 3 and uh, 1d4 plus 4, please? Spiny, sharkly, spiny? Sparkly, shiny legs. I'd, I'd do it for spiny legs. You'd have, <laughs> if you go sunbathing, you have to keep the half foot in shape. Like so joggers. <laughs> like I, I a sensible Brit music. that's just got his legs out in the sun and then the rest of it's under the umbrella. <laughs> did I slice and dice? You did. You <laughs> sliced both of his <laughs> ankles up. Uh, doing um, 13 points of damage in total. Uh, he's still alive. Oh my god, this is incredibly painful. <laughs> oh, 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 bleeding out. Um, I love to laugh. And he needs to do uh, two saving throws. One for each damage, piece of damage, which he does not pass. Gives an 8 and a 10. He is still laughing. I'm in incredible pain. Uh, there we go. <laughs> so next up, uh, we've got the sphere. Okay. Okay. Well, the sphere's chatting, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> that's that done. And then the hobgoblins. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. The sphere. Dead silent. The sphere. I wonder what it's thinking. Uh, yeah. I wonder if it likes me. Um, he. Uh, this hobgoblin down here. Pip, not now. Next to Bando. <laughs> uh, is going to attack Bando. Oh. He's gonna uh, drop his longbow, take his longsword out, and give it the old college try. Uh, that's one hit. Uh, two hits, I believe. Do we do two? Oh no. Oh no, it's just one one attack. <laughs> Apologies, I got a bit too enthused. Um, so Bando takes five points of damage. That's okay. Bando is almost as strong as all of you, so it's fine. Nice. Shade. That's harsh. <laughs> um, 
and the other ones here up meow. um he's going to back away actually the one down here and fire at chad uh, that would be a critical miss. Uh, so he just fumbles. He's, he's backing away from everything that's going on and just falls over a, uh, a chunk of ice. On his butt. I'm waiting for DJ Inky to burst through this ice. Um, yeah, and part of your uh, visible again. So these three, uh, they've kind of realised that Sebastian's not really a threat anymore. Um, they can't, they can't really see Pip or Chad from their angle. It's difficult. Um, and Pato, you're so tall, you're kind of like in the way of everybody. So all three are going to go for Pato. Thanks, buddy. A uh, miss, a miss, and a miss. A five, a ten, and a seven. So all Suck of these hit, miss you. <laughs> <laughs> and so they all stick into Pip as you do that. <laughs> no, it's just, shouldn't, have shown, um, they, shouldn't have thrown shade. Yeah, they go all over like over Sebastian's head, as you're cradling Sebastian still. It's okay, I'd rather you protect Sebastian than me. And uh, Smashburger. It's, it's Smashburger time. Smashburger. Oh, what? First, Smashburger and I feel personally victimized by the chat um, for <laughs> saying that we were bad parents and for bringing up C. Craig, who is our brain dead child. So. Different campaign, different campaigns. <laughs> Nobody's no. even met C. Craig yet, and they're already talking shit about exactly. it. Wait until like, he takes he over. Mm. Unconventional mm. parents, not bad parents. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but he's gonna uh, he's gonna bite the. The table food. Oh, okay. Oh, and bite the table food. Is yeah. it, what, Van Andregas? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay, good. Uh, you want to move Smashburger over to melee range with Vanon? Yes. Mm, Vanon. Are we going to be fighting over food? Maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, be, maybe. Like that, be like that um, a bit from um, Lady and the Tramp, but horrific. <laughs> <laughs> it's a giant spider and a vampire eating a hobgoblin. <laughs> Let's start with a terrible joke. Sharon is caring. Yeah. He's rolled a 20, but not a natural 20. That will hit. You can do uh -huh. a smash burger damage. That we all know and love. <laughs> a smash burger. The actual smash burger. Oh, that's a decent amount of damage from the old smash. Um, and the target must make a DC 11 constitution saving throw to take in 2d8 poison damage on a failed save. Crikey. Uh, okay, I can do that. Um, there's a constitution saving throw. His con is plus three. Uh, DC 11. He failed to the damage. 2d8. Damage. That is vicious. Mockery. 12 poison. 12 um, poison damage. On a, fa on a fail save. Uh, if a poison damage reduces the target to zero, then the target is stable with poison for now. I don't think that happens, right? Uh, yeah, he's uh, he's still fine. Uh, he's not dead, but uh, he does not look good. Uh, and then it's uh, immediately after it's Aya. Okay, well then um, I'm just gonna play my, try and play out of his misery okay. with my final. <laughs> trying to desperately to kill myself. <laughs> so why don't you just die? I feel oh, yeah, like I'm do. doing him a favor at this point. He needs to do another um, uh, another saving throw to stop him from okay. laughing as well, uh, which he passes. He has finally stopped laughing. Oh, 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 thank God, that was awful. Oh, it's like someone tickling <laughs> you. And you just can't look at Honk and stop. Oh, my Don't God. Don't worry, it's really over. <laughs> Squish. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, roll to hit with advantage. Oh, you, well, you crit, so okay, you can't get any better than that. That's uh, on the first one. Yeah. And then roll your uh, second attack. Lean on the second one. Yep. Oh, uh, 15 plus. Oh, is he still prone? Yes, he's still prone, yeah. He can't get up until his turn. So I'm rolling two more or one more? Uh, Roll two more. 12 and 11. 12 plus... 8, wasn't it? Uh, 9. 12 plus 9. Yeah, 20 on. That's both of those hit. One of them's a crit. So how many... So I'm rolling <laughs> twice the damage for the crit one. Yes, you roll all dice twice on the first one. Do you want to put any uh, smite damage into the first one? Because also that smite damage will double. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> whatever smite anyway. damage, <laughs> how many dice you put in there, you double those as well. Okay, so... Uh, 12, I don't know why I didn't just do that all, I'm sorry. 12, 15, and 8. Um, and then... 
Oh, so you only do the uh, the dice damage. So I'll add that. That that was two for the first hit and one for yeah, the second so... hit of just dice. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, but you did plus seven on both of them. You needed to do. Oh, I'm sorry. That's um... okay. Um, so five plus eight, thirteen, twenty. And the second one is twenty-eight, and then the smite damage, which is doubled. Okay, and I'm gonna do thunder smite. So. Cool. I always get lost in how many goes. Oh, yeah, I have 28, 11. 38, 39 damage. And then a 7 for the second time. 30, 46 <laughs> damage. Uh, yeah, uh, and it's thunderous. So you just, uh, as you smash down <laughs> with your um, uh, with your swing, with your uh, flail, um, it just impacts on his back and uh, the thunder goes off. And it just craters, like it pushes all of the all of the wind, all of the wind, all of the um, table splinters and flies off in different directions. Uh, it goes through his back. He bends in half, uh, like a folded piece of paper, as the flail like, impacts the stone and makes a divot in the stone, like a crater in the stone as well. And just bits of him starts flying off all over the place. Uh, Mike, you, just, you, get, you get covered, uh, a bit like the vampires from the first scene of. Um, <laughs> uh, blade when they're all dancing in that nightclub that's covered head to toe in like, viscera and blood lovely it's gonna like flat off a bit can I, can I lick his face <laughs> sure <laughs> why not it is just like the scene in Lady and the Tramp when that fallen angel comes <laughs> yeah. out smashes the spaghetti right in front of their faces yeah. <laughs> destroying the spaghetti and the it's dog having watched that yeah. we were having a romantic moment <laughs> it <smashed> out um, <laughs> So, Pip, uh, am I right in thinking that you were half in, well, not half in, but a bit in of the, of the sphere? Of the more out than in. Um, I feel like I would have... I'm more out than in, but I feel like when Bando got attacked, I would have kind of started moving towards him. I don't know if that's... So, um, what bits of you are in Chazpad? Be very careful with your selection. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I have a pinky toe in chest pad. <laughs> okay. One eye. More out than in. Yeah. Well, if, you, if you're happy with just a pinky toe in there, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Just one pinky. Uh, all right, Pip, you'll go. <laughs> mm. I don't want to put my head back in the pad. <laughs> um, maybe go like pinky toe first. And just see what happens. <laughs> Can I. Pull out my... <laughs> <how> you get. <laughs> I pull out my pinky toe and see if it's still there. <laughs> uh, your pinky so toe is still there. Can I put <laughs> inch in part of my eye? Uh, how, mu how, eye? Much of your, how much of your eye do you put? You have quite bulbous eyes. <laughs> yeah. Enough Bulbous. eye to so, like... see what's going on. Okay. Oh, you look like Pirate Pit. <clears throat> Just a tiny bit of the eye. Just like the iris, <laughs> just a bit like seems that's what tight. you see, like about a foot from your face. Uh, it's just a black sphere now. Oh, can I see any of the artifacts? Uh, yes, occasionally, like one of them will go whomp, and then <laughs> a, 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 like half a second later, another one will go whomp. But obviously, what now the sphere is much bigger, it takes longer for them to start orbiting. Um, does that, does that mean they go slower, right? Yeah. So they're easier targets. I'm well, they they trying. don't go. They go slower relative to the surface of the sphere, but they aren't actually going slower. Oh. They're still going the same okay. speed, but it's just they've got more surface area to cover. Um, I'm still going to try and get one of them away. Um, okay. so I'm going to try and slingshot again into the black hole. Nice. Does this thing have an actual name, or can you not tell us? That? Yes, it's called a sphere of annihilation. If we just leave, will it just keep growing until the universe ends, or is this just not a problem if we leave the cave? Uh, I think are you depends. asking that in character or out character? In WhatsApp. Oh, uh, then I, I think uh, Chad and um, Mike can answer that question. Yeah, I don't think it'll be good. Uh, how long does does your pad Chad last? Chad, Chad pad it's last? Eight hours. It's eight hours. Yeah. Okay. We've got time, but I I think it can exceed my pad if it grows much bigger. Because things can't come in, but they can go out. Would it just absorb the pad? More out than in. Or I can <laughs> enlarge it. 
Yeah. I can you imagine can. if we need. I'll Could shrink, you shrink, shrink the bottle. Wait, what? Could you shrink the <laughs> bottle? Yeah, could you shrink it? Uh, I haven't thought about that. I tried to, uh, I tried to banish, I tried to banish it, and Tim said I couldn't banish it because it wasn't a creature. But let me, give me a minute. Let me consult yeah. my brain. It's so, not windmills um, before, so uh, this is Pip, normal. Uh, you do, in fact, hit, hit one of the uh, uh, artifacts. With that twenty-nine. Yes, indeed. Um, so roll one your damage. Five, eight. Cool. Uh, yeah, hit up. Uh, yeah, there's a glasses case. I suppose. Oh, no, it wouldn't be a glass case. It's just a weird cigarette case. There we go. It's more appropriate. Uh, kind of comes over the event horizon from the top and circles around and then down and you pick it off with your slingshot. I think eight points. You put a big dent in it. Um, but it keeps on orbiting. Okay. Um, I would like to hit it again. Go for it. 29 yep, again. That'll hit. Um, you, uh, you can't not destroy it. Oh, and great. So you fire your slingshot, and again, it breaks apart, and it gets absorbed. Okay. Nice. Um, and then, um, I can I I can't use my bonus action to hit it again, can I? So no, no. I will use my bonus action to remove my eye from. Chastity. Okay. Boop, boop. You remove your eye. <laughs> remove the eye, and I guess both hands. Do you fire? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just um, add. Sorry, Spoopy Milk Penguin like mentioned at the very beginning or oh, asked, doesn't Chad can't Chad shrink things? Oh, and yeah. just now like Maybe. I did say. Almost can... almost also Damus Paradigm. I think you just put it in the thing, yeah. Just... What's that? Damus Paradigm <laughs> uh, giving us an <laughs> hourly reminder of um <laughs> that counterspell exists if you've got counterspell. I don't, don't think he's got I don't have a counter spell. <gasps> Otherwise, I would use it. <laughs> Who said that? Would you, though? Di <laughs> Diamond's Paradigm. Come on, Diamond's Paradigm. Of course, he's counter spell. If I had counter spell. <laughs> I've never, of never even heard of it. And I, of Chad's <laughs> always on top of all the spells that he's got at all times. I would They're use all in, in my brain. <laughs> throw bags of holding into it. <laughs> They're also yep. throwing oh quite a lot of shade at you, Cleo. I'm for, Cleo they're, they're also throwing quite a lot of shade at you for how long you're taking to find, yeah. find out what your that, action is. Uh, it's a big uh, spell book. This may Actually, take a while. Uh, sorry. Um, I need you to roll a dexterity saving throw for your hand, Chad. Me? Yes. For, de for the for big B's hand. Big off. B's clenched fist. Uh, That's not good. Through no, it's ten. Oh my gosh! So you removed it, didn't no, you? No, it's it's for Bigby's hand, and Bigby's hand has got. Uh, oh, does it have its a own? zero uh, in its dexterity? So I don't add anything to it. So eight. Yeah. What did you see? Uh, uh, you, no, he didn't I'll remove uh, the clenched fist. He removed himself, but left the clenched fist with the bag of holding inside. <laughs> left the clenched fist. No, he in the surely hole. he wouldn't have done that. Surely. He didn't say that he removed it. <laughs> When have I ever moved with my spells? All right. <laughs> well, I moved and apparently forgot my big giant hand and my big giant bag. I'm not even sure that Big B you can uh, move it after casting it. Actually, let me just have a quick look. So does this, does this mean the bag's in the hole? <laughs> I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Is the bag in the hole? Yeah. Uh, I, I when you cast, spell, spell, as a bag in the hole. Yeah. Uh, when you cast a spell and as a bonus action on your subsequent turns, you can move the hand. You can't move it on the first uh, the first spell, so he couldn't have moved it even if he wanted to. What does that mean? This, the hand strikes on our usual objects. I need to look at something. <laughs> well, this is a, this is this is the end of the campaign. You get it. Can you get the hand? The hand is grappling. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm reading right now. Hold on. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, meanwhile, Bando, what's Bando up to? This is Bando would thing. like to grab the hand and pull it out. <laughs> There's no. You can't see it anymore. It doesn't exist anymore. Bando goes in after it. Bando would die. Alice, Alice turned into cousin it. <laughs> Um, well, <laughs> Bando is going on, so Bando is just going to attack this one here with a bite again. You know I'm about to roll a one. <laughs> <laughs> I've just seen a comment in the chat that's making me now worry that Tim's put all of this time and effort into creating the lore and like the, the back history and story of everything, and this one simple movement is going to wipe it away. Oh, jeez. 
Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. You would have moved the hand. You would have just spelled it. You can't, you can't move Surely. the hand. It wasn't allowed Did to. you not just spell it? Uh, if you just spelled it, the bag of holding would have just, would just fall. fallen to the floor and would have been inside the sphere's plane of it anyway. So what it wouldn't have helped either anyway. Well. Wait a minute. I got an idea. I've got an idea. It's a backup plan. It and actually it's, it's specifies it's take a while. in it, it says if the sphere comes in contact with a planar portal such as that created by a gate spell or extra dimensional space, which a bag of holding is, I need to roll something on the table. So I, have, I, have, We've I have an idea. The bed. I have an idea. This is sick. <laughs> I don't like this. I love to love. <laughs> um, uh, I'm going to say because uh, it was big, it was Chad's spell that was holding the bag. Can you roll a d100 for me, please? Me? Fuck. Yeah. Don't leave it out to, to cat. You want to watch this happen, but yeah. I, I don't. 24. <laughs> That's a good roll, right? I've got a backup plan. <laughs> it is a good roll. Keep saying it. Keep yeah, saying yeah, yeah. It. No, no, no. I've got a. Ba no, I genuinely have a backup plan. Okay, remember it this time. <laughs> The backup plan is we wake up and this is all a dream. We never left the <laughs> fortress. This is just a hallucination. <laughs> we're all okay. back in Keld, and yeah. we just ate some mushrooms. <laughs> and we're about to, we're about to go uh, meet some orcs. <laughs> um, I'm going to make one addendum to um, what I was describing to what Pip was seeing. Uh, when you've put your eye into there as well, the sphere is like what it wasn't it was just it just existed as a static object mm -hmm. uh, like a hole uh, and now when it's this big it's uh wobbling like erratically on its axis like it's um pancaking almost like flattening out it looks quite unstable a wobbly hole is never good news <laughs> <laughs> what's your backup plan chad cool well, oh, like. it depends when I can use it. <coughs> um, did, was Bando doing anything? No, uh, Bando uh, holds his action to Okay. To Parter, you're up. <laughs> and, like, we're about to wake up in Raven's laugh, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> got... Yeah, it's because I've genuinely got no idea what to do. Um... <laughs> yeah, but we don't know this, do we? I'm I just... need to actually do some research. Hold on. Does anyone know what right. is about to happen? Like, does, do any of us understand the implications of what is about to happen, essentially? Does it have to... Uh, no, nobody can do anything until it's my turn? No, people can do stuff until it's your turn, yeah. Is, um... People can do stuff until your do, turn. Do something. They can do what they want. <laughs> I, what? I, I thought you had a backup plan! <laughs> I do, but if it, if, like... If it touches my bag before then... Oh, then no, I the can, bag's gone. An action. Bag's oh. gone. The bag's gone. Oh, it's already gone. It's eaten the bag, yeah. Oh, no, like that. Like wait, 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 so it's in the hole. Yes. It's gone. Then it's, what do we do? <laughs> it's, they, those two objects have intersected each other now. But, okay, how many creatures were in my bag of holding? Um, uh, the sexy two, vampire twin. Yeah, just... And the witch. The, oh, yeah. The, what, the witch? Was there a witch? There was a succubus. Yeah, the succubus incubus. Did you put the hag in there as well? <laughs> No, that was a different campaign. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So there's there's two succubi in there. As far as I'm aware, yeah, one incubus. Oh, and the elf. The elf. Oh, yeah. The elf. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, there's three dead bodies in there. <laughs> <laughs> Jumper went part to tell yeah, it to a cat. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I did think for a second. Isn't there a cat in there? Oh, no, wait. No, that was me. No, that was part. That was me. Um... <laughs> Right, whilst Chad's still thinking, I'm just, just going to turn my attention to the three, three people that were trying to shoot at me, and I went whoop whoop whoop. Yep. Um, Take out um, the artifacts. Yeah, but I don't want to stick my head in. There's room though. Are you? Is your head in or out, or is your eye in and the rest of your head out? My eye was is out now, but it was in like okay. minus zero point zero zero three seconds ago. Pep, pep. What did you see when you pulled your head in there? Have I got a bit of room to um, throw some magic stones in there? It's a big wobbly hole now, but there's room Wait. to hit the artifacts. I don't like wobbly holes. Uh, I'm can, gonna... Can I'm you gonna reach... Can... Okay. 
Okay. Do you okay. do you have do you have a bonus action or spell that casts a creature, or a uh, hold action or something that casts a creature? I I mm, oh, oh yeah. Oh no, I've got wild shape. No, I need I need I need you to cast something. Um. Oh. <laughs> Imagine if you just sit tuned into this channel right now and you're like. Like, do they not know how to play D&D? I mean... <laughs> no, we still don't. If you tuned in last week, we still don't know how to play it. Um, you've got Conjure I mean, I could just... Partner. Yeah, I was going to say, I could just, rather than using these magic stains, just Conjure Animals. Or use my bag of tricks. Yeah. Conjure something that can... grasp, yeah. oh, the, grasp oh, the ball. Or like a, a bird to, like, blow the, the artifacts away. No, like a... Well, that, if that you, would if do, you grasp that would the ball, too. you'll just fold yeah. into it. Also, you yeah, just if I, I look, I look at Chad. Feet across. I look yeah. at Chad, and, and I go... Dinosaur. I go... <laughs> Giant octopus? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what I was help? getting at. Yeah, something that can eat the hole. But if it touches the hole, it can be absorbed into the hole. Yes, but so, once uh, you get it in the fine. hole... <laughs> What are you on about? I can banish it. I am going to. So I look at you. I'm like giant octopus, and you're like, yeah, that's what. Yeah, I'm I think at. that's about as. Uh, and this I'm is all six like, seconds. So I'm gonna have to hurry up now. I'm yes. just gonna be like, say no more. And then I'm gonna, yeah, I'll uh, conjure animals. Um. So uh, giant octopus. No, uh, bees. bees? <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Giant octopus. <laughs> no bees. Bees. <laughs> this is this what you want to bees? Bees. How would this start to air? I can't. I, bees. I cast giant octopus. You just thought of you and Nikki. Okay, I'm gonna say it can <laughs> just bees. about. Not the bees. It's technically a, t uh, a ten foot by ten foot creature, so the sphere is twice yeah. the, twice the size of it right now. But I'm gonna say it can, in the way octopuses do, unfurl its tentacles to get about twenty feet. So you've done that. You now have a giant octopus next to you. What do you <laughs> tell it to do? Jump. Listen to Chad. Let's let let Chad explain his plan. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work. <laughs> I've never done it before, but I was thinking that if we drop something that ate or is about to eat the the black hole <laughs> on top of it, then I'll it's banish it. I've now, what, it. Why is it? Why, why is it my goddamn octopus always ends up useless? Yeah, He's next to me now. Don't just pop him next to you. Pop him in the air above Chad's pad. Um, you didn't say that to me. Oh, I've got a giant octopus <laughs> next to me. Why is that from him? So bad. Well, him. I'm going to say, okay, you can retroactively say you can cast it above Chad's pad. Yes. Oh, wait, but he can't get into You can't get into Chad's pad. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I love that. Who just hit it? Just slide down the um, outside uh, of it. Like, you look really silly now. Look at this plan. This is so much better, clearly. This was a good plan. It's the only plan we have. So <laughs> I'm. You have a giant octopus. But could he cast the octopus in? Do what? Do you know enough room. Right, I cast I cast the octopus on top of Chad's pad. It slides off. But it slides off towards those three okay, land goblins that were coming towards me. Okay. Um, to... oh, can you roll no. initiative for your octopus, please? Um. All the while, I'm looking at Chad disapprovingly, shaking my head every time. Um, and can everyone else focus on the one thing that we know stops this and try and get the artifacts into the black hole? The problem is we can we can barely see Not them two. before we get eaten by the black hole. I rolled a two. Yep, so he's got a plus one to his dexterity, so he's on a three, so he goes last. Um, nice. Uh, do you want to move anywhere, Bart? Um... <laughs> no, no. I just yeah, I'm just gonna stay where I am. Just looking across at Chad, just going. Um, you know, just spoopy milk penguin said, "When don't you look silly?" <laughs> oh no, um, Chad. Uh, I think we'll end the stream on you. Uh, what do you want to do? And then we'll call it quits. Make how many? This week. How many of the artifacts are left? I my plan fell apart very quickly. There are four. And I, have I? They're no, sorry. within. There are three artifacts left. They're within my pad. <clears throat> they're still within your pad. And I have seen where Pip has shot her arrows. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, she she kind of put her arms inside and uh, did some sling bullets. More out than in. Yeah. More out than in. So could That's I see where where the things were hit? Uh, yeah, they went into the sphere and much. just got annihilated. Okay. I'm going to try to figure out what the orbit of the artifacts are okay. because they're all on a similar orbit, right? Different. There different. was there was space for you to put your eye in. Fuck. There is space for you to put an eye in. It's fine. Just, yeah. just admit you've got no idea what you're doing. Just be careful. <laughs> well, that you, be careful of your snoot. I had an idea. I had an idea. Uh, I'm going to stick. Uh, the axe with its eyeball in because it can see. Okay. All right. And what? <laughs> and ask Aldis, uh, you have to save us all. <laughs> Get in the way. Um, all right. Uh, can you do a wisdom saving throw for me, please, Dad? Oh, um, I also, can. Oops, this sorry. is completely out of game now and this probably isn't legal, but I'm staying anyway because we're in panic mode. Spoopy Little Penguin again. Wouldn't the pad make all the artifacts go into the black hole because they'd be pushed in? Uh, potentially, but they haven't reached the edge yet. Okay. That's at least something to hold on to hope, right? I got a 13 uh, with the wisdom saving throw. Uh, Chad, um, the older sax goes, yeah, um, it's not on Thoughts app, so you, no, no, no one else hears this. I will save us all. <laughs> and uh, you turn and you uh, run 60 feet out of <laughs> why did you use the axe in your guide here eight, 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 well I thought nine, ten, why eight, I thought there was uh, self preservation involved yeah, you run to here oh, you just get this overwhelming <laughs> urge to flee uh, I didn't see Never that Never use the axe oh, as go. help. <laughs> didn't see you're kind of like coming. being pulled along by the axe as you're running. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> and oh. we'll end the stream there. So, oh, how do we, we not know what so happened? so useless. I feel sick. <laughs> uh, I had some so plans. Thanks, everyone, for uh, attending the live stream. And thanks, everyone, out there in YouTube land as well. Or anybody catch you up on the VODs on Twitch. Uh, I'd also like to thank my players. Um, that'll be, oh, I might just switch back to the old, there we go, it's a bit more intimate. Um, okay. Just how we like it. Yes. So I'd like to thank my, uh, my, my players, uh, Cleo, Alice, Ellie, uh, Josh and Annie. If you'd like to plug your social media, now is an amazing time to do so. Oh, I'm sorry, everybody. Uh, at Super Chat of Fragilistic Expialidocious. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Wunderbar. I'm at A-L-U-C-Y-E. Um, I am at Ellie Bav, and my comment of the week um, is I can't remember who said it, but right at the beginning of the stream, someone just absolutely tore Josh to parts and said, Old Parter over here looking a bit like Steve from Blues Clues. And that made me really happy and made me laugh the entire of the stream. So thank wow. you. Hot take. Harsh <laughs> oh, but fair. Harsh but fair. Jeez. Oh, why do I always get all that? Um, I am at un underscore Josh Den. Um, and I have I'm no favourite comments because they're all good. Um, please DM us the answers to this problem because we don't know how to get out of it. Uh, and Annie, where can people find you? <laughs> oh, you said it! <laughs> I did, and it's fine. I died in the house fire 13 years ago. And I'm <laughs> Good um, cool, also, and uh, yeah. you can find me at Lord Subcase. Uh, Nobody's think, gonna understand that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think you all agree that we all. A, sorry. I'm just gonna say the chat is worried that Chad didn't howl either, so they feel a little bit cheated. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that correct. wasn't our biggest problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's my way to keep you tuning in week after week. When's yeah, it gonna howl? 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 Maybe next week. Yeah. Maybe. Well, we'll find out. I think you all agree. We crit the bed this week, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>